battle for the love of horror. Cues for Nick Castle, James Jude from Halloween. You can get your horror t tattoos from here. I did inquire, but they need cash only, which I do not have. I just I've only got my, my card. <laughs> I shall definitely be buying stuff from here. Need to find out where the Saints of the Undead are as well. They're one of my favorite brands. Oh wow.
Hello dear boy, how are you? So good to see you, lovely to meet you. And he couldn't have been more gracious, more wonderful, lovely, lovely man. Of course, at the time, there was a kind of scandal of the fact that I... And this next one is going to be absolutely huge. I want the Terrifier movies, I know you guys want the Terrifier movies. Please, welcome to the stage, Elliot Fuller! <laughs> I've ever seen 
and in a week and a half, I watched the first seven Saw movies, which I don't recommend. I was having kidnapping dreams every single night, um, but those movies are incredible. Like, Saw, the first one, is definitely up there now for me, like the top five or top ten. I think that movie's so ingenious. I love the combination of, like, intense war with, like, intense psychological distress. Um, and just like the way that that entire franchise builds on itself is is incredible. So yeah, Saw is a recent addition to my favorite movie list. <laughs> I love your picks and great question. Um, it really depends on the day. It depends on my mood. My very first horror film was Poltergeist. It was one of my mom's favorites, and that sparked my fear of clowns, incidentally. Um, but I love the original Halloween 1978, and I love the Evil Dead franchise. I love every movie, and I love the series as well. So, it really depends on my mood. I, I'm just an overall horror fan. Did you know the twist in Soul when you watched it? You already, you already knew it. Okay, so, yes and no, because I knew that, um, oh my god, the actor's name is... Tobin Bell? Say that again? Tobin Bell? No, not Tobin Bell. Like, the, the first. <laughs> Please give it up from the incredible Terrifier 2. It's Leo Voise! You guys are ready to go to the Clown Cafe.
Raise the roof for the cast of the Lost Boys! Yeah. Mr. Billy Ryan! Come on! Yeah. Mr. Alex Winter! better than that. The cast of the Lost Boys! Hey, that's alright, isn't it? How Thank we... you very much. <laughs> How are we doing today, guys? Are you okay? Great. Yeah. Great. So I'm going to keep this super loose and conversational. The relationship between, well, obviously not you, Jason, but you guys as a gang, as a, as a pack of vampires, and how did, how did that bond go offset as well as on? We were friends. We were all we were all friends. It's it's an it's a hard thing to express to all of you how exciting it was for us at our age to have this kind of an opportunity, uh, and and we all wanted to do this for a living. Uh, it was still questionable whether that was going to happen, and this was a big step in that direction. So I think we were all, even though we were very young, we were aware that we were in the point zero 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 one percent. Uh, in, in our field, and that this was a great opportunity, and and, uh, and I think we treated it with respect, and therefore we treated each other with respect as well. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, and you wish them the best. Uh, I, I think it was a, a remarkable story. It certainly didn't start out the way it ended. Um, all of the characters, for instance, the characters uh, of David and and Michael. Uh, all of our characters were, were written originally much, much younger. They were to be played by 11, 12, 13 year olds and then Joel changed that. So, you know, I think if someone were to be interested in to try and, and do a remake or a version of this, I, I would take it as a compliment and, and hope that they do a really good job with it. Yeah, I, I agree. A reimagining to me is a good way to go. I was in a film called the body statues and the original one was a black and white one in the 50s and uh, I think the one I did with Abel Ferraro was really good and the other ones are good and if you can do it and do it well then you have two good movies and maybe the new one brings in other people to go back to see the original but it doesn't seem like we need that help but but uh, I agree with you. Keep going. There's a lot of a lot of understandable Day two for For the Love of Horror, and this time I'm wearing the Lost Boys t shirt. It's so cool. I'm meeting Alex Winter from the Lost Boys, uh, Lauren Lovero from Terrifier, and Fiona from the Chucky series and the Chucky movies. Yes, I'm so knackered, but day two. Here we go, day two. Came in nice and early in the line to meet 
Alex Winter from The Lost Boys. Oh, the this one. Uh, I mean, maybe we got to Raj. Uh, R A J. R A J. Yeah. You got it. Shirt off a little bit. It's so great. <laughs> I also love your last boy shirt. Oh, that's nice one. I know. Yes. Also, I know how sticky fake blood can be because I work as a scare actor yeah. and I have to get off bloody double almost every night and everything for the whole month. Oh, yeah. So it's a, it's a pain. I, I, I know it's a struggle. It is definitely <laughs> a struggle. Thank you for understanding the struggle. <laughs> yes. I mean, you live it, so you get it. I know. Um, how did our picture turn out? Oh, really good, yeah. Are you happy with it? Yeah. Oh, that's I was, good. As soon as I saw the other people going like that, I was like, at least you did the same one. That's so sick. It's so good. Like, so I want to be creative with our photos. I was like, yes. yes. That's sick. Oh, that makes me Love so it. happy. So, what yeah. can I do for you today? Oh, I'll get this autograph. Yeah. So, my name is Raj, uh, R A J. Oh, just R A J. Yeah. yeah. Did you want me to write anything specific or oh, just something nice? Anything you want. Anything <laughs> you want. How did your weekend go? Really good. Oh my god, I met loads of people. The Lost Boys, the main ones. It's yeah, so, so funny because uh, Jason Patrick. It's funny to think that I haven't his number yet, but we yeah. know each other now. <laughs> and we always try at these conventions to get together and get yeah. a drink, but we're always so tired. Um, he, he did actually. He actually mentioned you as well. He did. What yeah. Did he he, say? He's like, you're one of my favorite guests and everything. So I was like, okay, no. Oh. So I was obviously I was wearing a t-shirt yesterday. Oh, so, yeah. oh yeah, Laura, she's one of my favorite oh. guests here. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I love Jason. He's fantastic. Yes. And I'm a huge Lost Boys fan. Yes. So and so is Damien. So yes. it makes sense. <laughs> oh, that? well, that's perfect. Thank you so We're much. So good to see you again. Uh, good to see you again. Weekend. Yes. Have a nice time in Manchester, by the way. I will try. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Escorted around by his lovely companion who went to school here. 
So we had, we had a first hand guy. How do you think the character becomes so pivotal and like the face of horror? So recently we've had Art the Clown and Sam from Trick or Treat, but Michael Myers is one that stands out so iconically. What do you think he is about that character that just makes him so incredible? Um, well, one thing is the mask. You know, I mean, and just technically speaking, uh, but I think that enigmatic blank expression lets the audience kind of read in who that is. And there's a lot of you young women that have a crush on him, which I'm a little concerned about. <laughs> uh, but I think that had something to do with it. It was just kind of like this blank slate that you can uh, kind of fill in. Uh, so I think that, had, you know, he's not as specific as a lot of the other characters. I mean, I guess you could say that of Jason too, but that human looking oddball blankness, I think, was very clever. And of course, we all know how that came about. Tommy Lee Wallace, the production designer, and they're putting prosthetics on my neck, resetting lights, so I had to lay and I couldn't move. I had to remain very still. So she walks up and she grabs my hand, closes her eyes, and for an hour we sit there and just held hands, just like two lovers would. And in the end, and we've, she and I have talked about this, as we're fighting through those, those, those final scenes, we were both feeling these amazingly intense emotions of love and hate, wanting to die, wanting to kill, and all of the weird things that happen with real human beings and real experience. So as a scene partner, um, Jamie and I talked about this. We both agreed that that finale is the most, the most rich, and deep scene that she or I have ever done in a movie. And and so I look back at this as like, how do you top that? How do you top that? And that woman, um, I, I mean, I, there aren't enough superlatives for me to, 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 to describe what working with that woman has meant to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was released earlier this year to great acclaim. So let's talk a little bit about your experiences on set of Evil Dead Rise, because essentially you were the villain of the film. Essentially. Yeah, I was. It was really fun. <laughs> I quite like a villain. They're getting you to just grip it too. Yeah. Yeah, I um, I have likened it to it being my personal rage room. Okay. You know the rooms that you go into with a baseball bat smash and you just up. smash it up? Yeah, yeah, It was like that. Just for a few months while you were filming? Yeah. Tremendous. <laughs> so obviously the film is about a family dynamic. You're the mom of the family and you're possessed by the deadites and you start going after them one by one. Um, the family bond on set how was that? Because obviously you had to, they had to be your kids, but you also had to scare the living shit out of them. <laughs> yeah, um, we had a great time. Lily and I got along really well. I adore her. Uh, we're both from the same hometown in Australia. Um, we like just immediately clicked, which was nice. In fact, I did with everyone. Um, the kids were great. We we prepped um, little Nell. For yeah, what was it like with Lee Cronin? What, what, what did he bring? Because he wrote the script as well. I was a fan of his from We Made the Hole in the Ground, which was really good. Yeah, I liked Hole in the Ground. I um, I watched it when because I 
I'm not a horror fan, you guys. Not a horror fan. I didn't want to say it. I knew. I've seen your interview. I, I really struggle with it. So there are a lot of horror films that I haven't seen. I had not seen Hole in the Ground um, until after I auditioned for Evil Dead Rise. Yeah. And I found out Lee wanted to chat with me and I was like, well, I've got to watch his first film, haven't I? And it's really good. That's a similar yeah, family. Yeah, his performances are so good. But grounded. I wanted to take that home with me. You suck somebody's eyeball and then turn into a three-product monster in that film, yeah? Yeah. There's no going too far. <laughs> there's, there's no overplay in that. I don't think you can go subtle. Do us a favour, just suck his eyeball a little bit more. Just, just a little bit, you know? Yeah, could you just bring it in? <laughs> just tighten it up. Yeah. You've got to go. You're going to suck an eyeball. Who's with me? If you're going to suck an eyeball, you suck it properly, right? Yeah. This is all for my eyeball suckers. Give us a shout if you suck eyeballs. Good crowd. Next question, hi. I don't think I can top that, Ben. <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> I've got nothing to on. Um, I think, I think you don't go into it wanting to scare people, you go into it wanting to unnerve them and get under their skin. Um, I think that's much more disturbing. I, I wanted Ellie to be psychologically scary. Um, I mean, she's physically scary as well because she's a deadite and supernatural, but I wanted her to be, like, fully emotionally abusive as well and verbally abusive and really get to you. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I was kind of going for unnerving people and getting under their skin um, more than scaring them and being scary. Yeah. And I think that is a perfect place to end it. And listen, here we go. Thank you so much for being here. We did it. <laughs> you survived. Ooh. Dead by door. Thank you so much. Wait, I'll be dead by 6 p.m. <laughs> Please give it up one more time for Alyssa Sutherland. Ready to hear the Clown Cafe? See an Art the Clown right out there. <laughs>
satisfied and we're suitably energized for this massive panel. I need it louder, I need it louder. Come on, Manchester, how are we feeling? Oh yes, welcome to the stage, the one and only Brad Dourif! I think, I think you can go louder than that. Brad and Fiona, everybody! I mean, they'll pop for living on a prayer, but they won't pop for you. How are we doing this fine Sunday afternoon? Are we okay? A little tired, but good. Yeah. Yeah? How are you, Sam? Oh, it's great. It's great. This has been such a wild and fun convention. And I love all the Chuckies. I hope you guys high-five each other. I wondered if you did. That's oh, it. Have we, have we got any Chucky fans here? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 okay. yeah, we are here. I thought we were just going to sit here and talk about crisps or something, but no, it's fine. The strike is over. This is making for the love of horror history, because I think this is the first father-daughter Q&A we've ever done. Oh, well, it's about time. It is about time, and we've got the perfect people to go for it. Uh, Brad is the iconic voice of Chucky amongst many other things, and Fiona plays Nika. Am I pronouncing that right? Uh, yeah, Nika. Nika. And you're forgetting she also plays young Chucky. I was going to get Charles there. Lee Red. I'm brilliant. <laughs> and you look amazing. <laughs> thank, you, thank you. If we have rude. questions for Brad and Fiona, throw yes, your Yes, you right never away. did in a human form. This is true. I'm the only one. I kissed her through the glass. You kissed her through the glass? Oh, you did? <laughs> doing ADR? No, when we were first doing it. We did. We laid the tracks down, and we were separated by glass, and so and we had a had a sex scene, so we were all over the glass. But I'm not Jennifer. But it was Jennifer. Yes. Je Jennifer's glass. Um, I, on the other hand, have made out with Jennifer Tilly many, 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 many times. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, uh, she's like she's a great kisser. She is. She's like, um, she's warm and welcoming, uh, if you know what I mean? Warm and welcoming. <laughs> no, I'm her father. <laughs> I can't even remember what my next question was going to be. It was like, but it didn't sound like my dad. I remember when he was playing Exorcist 3. It was like a little weird in our house for a while. That, he wasn't, you know, you know like you keep, he'd keep keep the voice. My friends is like, my friends would be like, what is going on with your fucking dad? <laughs> and we were the least Hollywood family, I think. Like, you wouldn't, you would, except that my dad was weird sometimes. You kind of wouldn't know that um, we were involved in Hollywood. Do you know what I mean by that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. It was just whatever. It was, it was like a normal middle class family. Yeah, that I remember. And I think that's a perfect way to end it. We started with family and we're ending with family. And I feel like they are family because we love them. Guys, please give it up for Brad and Fiona. Guys, one more time, give it up! So, I just got back and oh my god, what a weekend. I, I didn't really speak too much because it was so loud in there and so busy. So apologies for that, but wow, what a weekend. Oh my god, it was, it was just non-stop it was, but it was worth it. I uh, met so many awesome people. Um, so most of them met for the first time, so that was pretty cool. Uh, James Judy Corley, oh my god, the way he, I told him to do the, the, the Myers pose, and uh, trust me, he did it, he did a tight, tight grip, so I definitely got the Michael Myers experience there, but yeah, meeting everyone was so cool, uh, Lauren Lavera, she re remembered me in the, on the second day, that was pretty cool, and yes, this amazing Lost Boys t-shirt, wow, seeing the Lost Boys in person for the first time, amazing, um, the Q&A panel, whoa, that was packed out, that was 
packed out. It was incredible to see how many people love that movie. And also shout out to Saints of the Undead as well. They got the most awesome merch there. I, I think I spent my most money on them, <laughs> but it was amazing. But yes, awesome weekend. I got these cool posters from Head On Shirt and then also this epic screen poster. Also, shout out to Pure Horror. It was so cool to finally see you. Loved the vlogs. But yes, with that being said, I'm not good. Um, long weekend. But yes, worth it. Definitely see you in 2024. Peace.